Yes, so very good evening, everyone. I'm Nivedita. I'm a corporate trainer and I'm into this field since uh, 15 years. And I am a soft skill trainer and also a verbal trainer. So today I'm going to introduce a small topic and a very used word. Though we often use it everywhere. So the word attitude. So today we're going to learn more about the word attitude. So now let us see and explore a little more on attitude. So is everyone ready for this? Yes, yeah. Yes, okay, great. Yes. Yeah, as I told you today, we're going to learn about attitude. So let us start the today's session. So in this screen, there is one quote. The greatest discovery of any generation is that a human being can alter his life by altering his attitude, right? So just by altering attitude, so there is a scope to alter our life. So now let us learn what is attitude, how do we alter our attitude and alter our life? Let us explore in the coming slides. Yes, so attitude. Attitude is our mental state. It, it is, it's all about our belief system, our feelings, what values we have what dispositions we have, what is our state of mind, how I feel, how I think, all these things is a mixture of attitude. So attitude, so are we born with it? So what do you think? So are we born with certain attitude, maybe positive attitude or negative attitude? No, so we are not born with attitude or do we learn attitude? Learning attitude is not possible because it is not something, it is not a theory. It is not a theoretical path to be learned. So attitude is something, it is a skill that we need to develop. So we all develop a positive attitude. There are three types of attitude, positive, negative, and neutral. So now dear friends, please do look into the traits that we are going to learn. The traits of an optimist. Optimist is a person who thinks positively. So these are the few traits of a person who thinks positively. Confidence, optimism, cheerfulness, sincerity, sense of responsibility, flexibility, determination, reliability, tolerance, etc. These are not the only traits of an optimist, but these are some examples of being an optimist. Here are a few traits of a pessimist. Pessimist is a person who thinks negatively. The person who has negative attitude will have these following traits. So what are those traits? Doubt, resentment, jealousy, inferiority, Anger, hatred, pessimism, frustration, etc. Now, all of you might be thinking that whether it is pessimistic or optimistic, we do possess both the traits. How many of you agree with my point? I can neither be happy always, I can either be doubtful and jealous always. I'm a mixture of both. Sometimes I feel happy, sometimes I feel confident. And sometimes I feel jealous, sometimes I feel frustrated. And that depends upon various situations in life. There is one more type of attitude. It is called as neutral attitude. The person who is neither positive is nor negative. So he does not have any consequence. He does not have any relevancy with the consequence, relevancy with the situation. So he's okay if anything happens. So he's okay even if it is, the, even if the work is done or not done, he's okay with both. The person who is not affected in any way, neither in his thinking nor in his feeling or in his behavior, when there is no change in any of these aspects, that kind of attitude is called as neutral attitude. That means I am unaffected by whatever happening around me. So now my question is, what kind of attitude do we need to develop? Do we have to develop a positive attitude or a negative attitude? 
or a neutral attitude. So here are three E's of attitude. So our attitude is formed or we develop certain attitude and this is mainly impacted by these three E's in our life. The environment, it can be our family, society, etc. Our experience, the experiences what I have gone through might be different from yours. So our experiences also contribute in developing one's attitude and our education background. That education background gives us a scope to develop a positive attitude and even our life's experiences and our environment. All these three factors are responsible for developing our attitude. The ABCs of attitude. If you can see this, A stands for affective component. That means how I feel about certain things. If I have to form an attitude, if I say that this person is having a positive attitude, that means the person should be in alignment with this ABC component. All the three has to be same. The affective component, that means what I'm feeling. Am I feeling happy? Am I feeling confident? Am I feeling energetic, etc.? And the second component is the behavioral component. Is my feeling and behavior are the same? For example, I'm feeling happy, but I'm lying around. I'm just lying on the bed doing nothing. So my feeling and my behavior is not in alignment. There is a mismatch generally when a person is happy he moves around he smiles he wants to have some good food or maybe go out with friends do something do something right but when the person is happy and is sleeping that means the feeling factor and the behavioral factor is not the same and the third component is cognitive component that means the way i'm thinking if i'm thinking good if i'm thinking that i'm happy and i'm feeling happy and i'm doing something good about it when all my thinking feeling and behavior are in the same alignment that means i can say i have a positive attitude i'll give you one small example imagine my neighbor they just bought a brand new car right they bought a brand new car and if i'm feeling good about it so i have a good feeling about it. So what do I do? So I go, I meet them, I congratulate them on their new car. So maybe I talk or I get to know more about the new car and the specifications of that new car and my thinking. So I think, okay, yeah, so they bought a new car. So, you know, like maybe, you know, they have to do some parking space and I think in this alignment. But if I have negative attitude, right? So I'm very jealous. I'm very jealous. I'm thinking very jealous. How could they buy this new car? How could they buy this brand new 10 lakhs car? So I'm feeling jealous. So when I'm feeling jealous, what do I do? When nobody's seeing around, I go there and I scratch the car. Right? So here my feeling and my behavior is negative. Or sometimes what happens, maybe just to, uh, you know, show up, you know, just to pretend. I may feel happy in front of them, but my behavior may not be the same. Or I'm thinking, my thinking may not be the same. The way I, the my thought process, my feelings, my behavior, all the three components has to be in the same alignment. Either they have to be on the positive side or on the negative side. Among the three components, even if one component is on the negative side, that means my attitude is not a positive attitude. That means I am exhibiting a negative trait. So this is one self-reflection for all of us. Whenever is there, whenever there's any situation which is not favorable for us, right? that is when we require a lot of positive attitude. When things are happy and it's smooling safely, we don't require that. But when things are not favorable to us, 
it is not happening the way we want it. This is where we have to keep a check. Is my thinking, feeling and behavior, is it on the positive side? If it is not on the positive side, we have to take an effort to make sure that I change my feeling, I change my thinking or I change my behavior. When we keep a check on all the three components, it is a it is a goal. Maybe we can we can it we can call it as a milestone that we have achieved in our life. This is one thing where we all struggle. We all pretend. We all pretend to be happy on our friend's success, but we may not be feeling happy inside. You know, in three idiots movie, he just tells one dialogue. You know, jab friend fail ho jata hai to bura lagta hai. But jab friend first rank aata hai to aur bura lagta hai. Right? So when our friend fails, yes, we feel sad. But if he comes first rank, if he comes first, we feel more sad. So we may pretend to be happy in, in, maybe, uh, in terms of our behavior, but inside we are suppressing our negative feelings or our negative thinking. So do not, let us bring this one small change from today. Let us think, feel and behave in the same way. If I'm happy, let us, let me feel happy, let me think happy and let me be happy. If I'm confident, let me feel confident, let me think confident and let me behave confident. One more small example, maybe when we go to any interviews or any exams, we behave confident. But somewhere inside, we are feeling underconfident. That is the reason why we feel, you know, butterflies in our stomach, you know, maybe we are sweating. We are not feeling confident. So we have to feel, behave and think confidently or happily or any positive attribute. There are many positive attributes. You can just think. But all the three components has to be in the same alignment. Attitude formation. How does our attitude form? Our attitudes are formed by perceiving certain attributes. If I am thinking positively over a period of time, time and again, so I will develop a positive attitude. If I am having a negative attribute, if I am thinking in, about something in a very negative manner every day over a long term, that means I would have developed a negative attitude. So it's all about how I see, how I think in the long run is what matters in our attitude formation. Attitude does not form overnight. It is a process. It is not an event. It is a process. So we have to think, feel and behave positively every day. We have to work on our positive attributes every day, every night, day and night. Only over a long term, if you're working on that, that is when we can say, I have developed a positive attitude. If I just feel positive for one moment and then if I start sulking, that means I cannot say that I have positive attitude. So here, there is an example of glass. There is a glass. So friends, what do you think about this glass? Right? So some of us might feel that the glass is half empty. The pessimists always think what is not there or what is lacking. Right? An optimist will always think that the glass is half full. The positive attitude is all about Seeing what is present, what is there. But what is the reality? The glass is full, but the glass is half filled with air and half filled with water. That is the reality. It is not, it is neither positive, it is not negative. Then what is attitude? So attitude, having or developing a positive attitude means. Even if the glass is half empty, it is refillable. Even if there is something not there, even if there is a lack of something, it may be in our life, 
career anywhere if there is something lagging behind that can be refilled we can bridge the gap that is the work of a trainer that we that is what we have been doing all these years there is a gap and we fill that anything so whatever is not there so that can be refillable at any point of time if there is lack of happiness you can refill your happiness if there is lack of confidence you can refill your confidence anything you take any attribute that can be refilled you just have to make a conscious effort conscious decision to refill it so this is one more test a very small test where it is a self reflection on am i having a positive attitude or am i having a negative attitude so how do you respond to a failure so here are few examples if i am responding to failure negatively that means i blame others oh this happened because of this person he did not do he did not do or do i take charge of every action it is easy to blame but it is very difficult to take charge or to take accountability of our own task repeat mistakes so whatever mistake has been done am i learning from my mistake or am i repeating the same mistake time and again am i having only limited ideas or do i take time to explore the ideas do i discuss with people do i have that brainstorming session with others do i do that or am i very uh, you know a very self centered that i i gets confined to me or my ideas or with my limited ideas comfort zone do i take an effort to come out of my comfort zone take risk and do something great or is it like am i happy okay wherever i am wherever i am i'm happy let me not take risk i'm happy being whatever i am highlight weaknesses when a person highlights others weaknesses that means he only thinks and sees negative things so we have to always highlight our strengths not necessarily our strength even other strength anybody whomever we look at whomever we meet we should always see on the positive side of a person or a situation and one of the uh, small one more example is quitting do i quit very easily or do i pursue let it be one small task or let it be one big project do i think of quitting it often or do i think of ways to pursue it so these are some examples of how do we usually respond to failures in our life right i am sure at times we even blame others we repeat the same mistakes we highlight weaknesses we all do it it is impossible to stop doing it from right now it is impossible it is highly impossible but it is possible by taking one small step at a time every day if i am blaming others for 10 times in a day i can reduce it for 5 times in a day it cannot be 10 to 0 in one day as i told you it is not an event it is a change it is a gradual process only then we can transform ourselves from having a negative attitude to a positive attitude our attitude has effects on all these things in our life on our health on our success on our failure when we are having a successful life how am i responding to it how is my attitude how am i treating people how is my behavior with the people that matters and the failure if i fail what am i thinking about myself i bought others that matters that is the reason why people tend to commit suicide the moment they see or they come across any failure in their life 
because they fail to pursue positive attitude or they fail to see positive attributes in their life it's just it just takes that one thought to see positive side of everything just one thought that one change can bring in a lot of change in our life it affects our growth it affects our well being success of others as well there are very less people who are willing to help others in their success right so when when we see others succeeding that affects even our attitude so we always we have that feel good factor whenever we see others succeeding so here is a small challenge is it possible to push the pardon hello Oh, yes. So there is a small challenge here. Is it possible to push the negative factors to the corner at once? Can I just say, okay, so from today onwards, I will stop thinking negatively. Is it possible? That is not possible, right? And is it possible that okay, so from tomorrow, you know, I just pretend to be optimistic throughout twenty four bar seven. I'll be optimistic. No. we cannot have a positive attitude or an optimistic behavior 24 bar 7 no if someone is being that that means they are not being genuine it is not realistic because it is even the negative feelings are feelings it does develop but how we behave even if there is any negative factor how i behave even my behavior can i can choose it to be a positive for example if i am jealous that someone scored good than me i can change my behavior i can start working hard i can study more i can study hard and try to get more marks that is how even there is some negativity i can bring in some positive change in my behavior and still have a better life so friends here there is a picture of a cheetah the cheetah is the fastest running animal in the forest yet it is not the king of the forest and we have giraffe giraffe is the tallest animal in the forest yet it is not the king of the forest we have the elephant the heaviest animal in the forest yet it is not the king of the forest we have tiger the strongest animal in the forest yet not the king of the forest we have an ape the most intelligent animal in the forest yet not the king of the forest so what makes lion a king of the forest it is the confidence attitude courage bravery and that fierceness is what makes the lion the king of the forest the lion is not the tallest not the smartest not the strongest even without having these traits these one th these small changes our attitude courage confidence can make us king of our life irrespective of where we are what we are doing any career we choose any line we choose in our life whether it can be our personal life our career anything we can be successful if we are confident if we have positive attitude if we have that courage that is positive attitude is what matters more than our intelligence our smartness maybe how i look is it am i as i the example of the cheetah it runs so fast yet it is not qualified to be the king of the forest so this was just one small story how positive attitude and courage can bring above all in our life
positive thoughts are not enough there have to be positive feelings and positive actions so as i told you the way i think the way i feel and the way i act the way i behave all the three components has to be in the same alignment even if there is one slight changes if i think and feel alike but i behave in a different way it is not the same so to understand more on how to develop a positive attitude so we all have negative attitude you know we all face that negativity around us you know we get disturbed by others someone maybe they they comment something about us we feel sad or maybe we may not getting the source of income or the source of love the source of success we are seeking many things in our life personal as well as professional so whatever our seekings are we may not be able to fulfill those things and we if we start feeling negative so how has to be what has to be the quantity of our positive attitude we'll just learn that by one small video let us watch that video yes is everyone able to see this video yes okay great no sound though yes so this was my session on positive thinking and i end the session with a small thought as we learned in this video so positive thinking is not something that that we do it occasionally or sometimes that is something that we have to do intentionally every day every moment in our life so friends this is one small change that we can bring in from today from right away let us start thinking positively as much as possible and let us start having a check on our thoughts feelings and our behavior so this was my session thank you so much